Darksiders Apocalyptic Difficulty Walkthrough with all collectibles picked up for ArmageddonGaming.com. So, there's just going to be another blue guy. Sometimes a couple smaller guys will jump down off that cliff, so just keep an eye out. Um, in this video, all we're going to do is head to the Tormented Gate. It's going to give us like four new missions to free him. But we're going to grab the collectibles that are available to us in this area. There should be a total of three collectibles. There should be an Abyssal Armor Shard and two Relics. We're going to get two Abyssal Armor Shards in this area before we leave. The second one is given to us by the Tormented Gate after we free them, so it's story related. We're going to go over here and grab a Vulgrim location because now that we can use the Serpent Holes, you want to grab every one you can. Even if you don't need to buy nothing, at least just go activate it. But we're actually going to buy, or later on, a couple of videos down the road, we're going to buy the Wrath Core from Vulgrim. So from Vulgrim's location, just jump off, head right over here to this waterfall, and you'll be able to just run up on it. And back here will be our first relic, or artifact. So there's going to be these electric eels swimming around. You're going to learn to hate them. Oh, we're also going to grab a lifestone shard in this video as well. I like to just avoid them as much as I can because they're a pain in the ass to hit. They only take one or two hits to kill. But they're still a pain. Now, coming up here, you'll see the chest in the back corner. Just take care of the guys. You see a new enemy. It's that snake guy. Um, he's pretty easy to take down. You just gotta watch out for when he starts kind of spewing black stuff and orange stuff out of his mouth. Because he's gonna create a little uh, mass under you that's gonna do damage to you, so just dodge out of the way. Now, a couple of videos down the line, we come back here to do one of the challenges, but because we're gonna be in the shadow sight mode, uh, we're not gonna be able to see the chest, so you gotta come get it aside from getting or aside from coming here to do the challenge. So what I like to do to this guy is just hit him with my crossblade and keep a constant crossblade on him. And then just jump up a little bit and just start swinging away. That seems so bad, the push has to center it. It's really not that bad, you'll see it a little later in the video. Or in the series of videos coming up. So there's, I believe, our fourth armor piece. And we're going to get number five. Later on. So we're already halfway there, and... We're not halfway through the game yet, so it's keeping a good pace. So from that collectible, you're going to want to swim on over here. You know, see this little hole in the wall right here? you got to swim through this hole. And then go right through this door and then up these stairs and you'll find an artifact. And then you see that platform right there, we're going to have to raise it. Uh, you can't activate it from over here, which would be ideal because it's a little tricky to aim from where we got to go. But just go right around here. And you'll see this alcove here you can swim right into. There's going to be a couple easy enemies to kill. So just deal with them and then you just got to hit it with your crossblade. And the platform will raise and you'll be able to jump across and grab the life shot. 
After that, all I'm going to be doing is heading to the Tormented Gate and starting that line of ser uh, a series of challenges. So I'll see you guys there.